welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well and staying safe during this uncertain time. In my last video, I asked if you would like to have a tour of the living room and the response to this was yes, please can we have a tour? And when you ask, you will receive. So I have put together a tour of the living room for you. I've actually really enjoyed walking around the living room and discussing everything, where it's from, and yeah, it's just made me kind of fall in love with my living room all over again. I'm pretty sure I have covered everything, where everything is from, how I've styled it, how long we've had it, why I've done it this way, I'm pretty sure that I have covered all bases there. I will also be including a full shopping list in the description so if there's anything that you think oh i really like that um i don't know where it's from you can just pop down to the description and i will have linked everything there also if you would like more pictures of the living room or like to know more and you know you've got more questions or you just really like my house <laughs> then you can go over to my Instagram and I'm always sharing little snippets of the living room on there and also I'm a lot more active on there so you can have a bit more of a chat with me in my inbox. So all that really leaves me to say is I hope you really like this video, I hope you enjoy the tour and that you like the style of the living room and everything else. So without further ado, let's have a look around. So this is our living room. I'm just going to walk around the room and show you everything. And then we will look in more detail where everything is from. But. This is a Hatfield corner living room. It's the same size as a Hatfield from Persimmon. It's a good size living room. It's a nice family space. We've made use of it and utilized every corner because I like to have lots of things. <laughs> but this just gives you a really good idea of how we are using the space. So I'm thinking the best place to start is going to be over by the door and then we will make our way around the room. So let's start with the door. I have shown these doors before and I always get lots of questions about these over on Instagram, people asking where they're from. So these are from National Hickman. We got them through our developer, Persimmon, and I absolutely love them. They were the best thing that we've ever had <laughs> put into the house. We have it also in the kitchen, and what it just allows for us to do is it just opens up the space. We can see into the hallway and we can see into the kitchen and it just makes the whole um, house downstairs just flow a lot better. I really, really love them, and especially like in the evenings. It means we can shut the door if we're watching a movie and it doesn't disturb Olivia while she's upstairs. So yeah, if you're thinking about adding glass doors to your house, I cannot recommend enough doing that. Moving round, this is our TV wall. I decided to make the TV wall almost like a feature wall in some way. It's over by the door. We have had it the other way round. I'll insert some pictures to show you how we have had things the other way round. So we did used to have a small, the smaller sofa here and the TV wall was over here. But we just much prefer this layout. However, I do think this Christmas, I'm probably gonna move the TV back over there and have my Christmas tree in the corner because I didn't like how it looked last year. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. But I really love having this wall as the feature wall for the TV. So let me tell you more about what I have done here to style this. So the unit that it is sitting on is an Ikea Besta TV stand. So Besta is B-E-S-T-A. And what we've had added to this is I put some legs on the bottom of it. You can buy the legs separately and it just raised the unit off the ground and lifted up the TV as well, which I really like and I think it looks a lot more classic. Then we added to it these panels, like you can see they are like these um, 
kind of foamy style panels. They literally have just been stuck on. Now I bought these from a company called Lux Hacks. I will insert everything in the description below. Lux Hacks is an Australian brand and they came up with the really clever idea of personalizing your IKEA furniture to make it your own. They do lots of really good st like styles of um, stick-ons that you can do. You can have mirrored ones, you can have bronze ones, silver ones, all sorts of different styles. But I just went for the plain white because I preferred that kind of look. I also opted for squares because I like to have unity in a room. So if you look around the room, everything is square. The table's square, that's square, that's square, they are square or rectangular and everything's got sharp lines. That's the look that I quite like. So we went for that. And I just think this has completely transformed that unit into more of a kind of bespoke piece and I couldn't be happier with how that looks. Then either side of our TV, we have these beautiful large lamps. These lamps are from Iconic Lights and I absolutely adore them. They have a kind of beveled finish on them with the kind of grain that's going down. And then these huge drum shades. It's difficult to get perspective, but they are massive. <laughs> they are huge. And they really, really frame the TV. I really liked the parallel lines in them because it works nicely with the wallpaper that I have put up on this wall behind it. This wallpaper is from Grand Deco Wall Fashion and I can't remember the name exactly, but it just has this beautiful blue and silver stripe running through it. It's a textured wallpaper, so it's not too bold and it just looks really lovely. I actually gave my mum some of this wallpaper and she bought more and then ended up wallpapering her entire room in this wallpaper because you can get away with it. It kind of looks more like a paint finish than an actual wallpaper. It looks fantastic. So I love that. And it, as I said, it goes really nicely with the lines on the lamps. Then above it, I've popped two little shelves. Now these shelves are from I think I got them from like home base or B&Q or something. They're really simple. They're just floating shelves. And then I've just styled it with a few little pieces. So you can see there's these artichokes either side. Now they were originally green and they were from the range. I spray painted them with just a normal spray kind of lacquer that you can buy in a white finish. And they came up really, really nicely. And then also on there, we've just got some family pictures. I've got a Kelly Hoppen vase and one of my frames that I got from Neptune in the brown wooden frame there. I really like the style of it and I think it looks really good. And also it's utilizing the space above to display your knickknacks and bits and bobs that make a house a home really. So I love having them up there and I just really, really like this wall. I've also dressed it either side. So I've got some lanterns there from the range and then another little kind of vase lantern thing, which to be honest, I really can't remember where it's from. So we won't go into too much detail over that. But yeah, this is such a nice feature and we love sitting here in the evenings looking at this wall and just feeling cozy while we're watching TV with the lamps either Sorry, side. I had to turn the lamp off in the corner because it was flickering. Now this is our window wall. It is a east facing window so we don't get a lot of sunshine in here in the afternoons. It becomes a lot darker but it does provide lots of light throughout the morning. Now on the window wall here I have added a wooden slatted blind to give us a little bit of privacy so that we can block out the cars going past and also people because there is a path just in front of that window so we noticed some of our neighbours were a little bit nosy so we now sort of slightly close those and then they can't see in. I really like how it looks as well but I felt that it did need something else so I then added this lovely black curtain pole. I really liked the black contrast. I wanted something that went with the TV and other little bits of black that I've got around the room. This one is from Ikea and it goes really nicely. Now I have put this 
or curtain pole up quite high, almost all the way up to the ceiling actually, because I wanted there to be a huge drop for the curtains. And I think if you have it up higher, it makes the room look taller. So that was the vibe that I went for. And I then added these lovely, lovely curtains. Now these curtains are from Dunelm and they were they were quite inexpensive to be honest, but they have this beautiful sheen finish on them. And they really are just for display purposes. I quite like that to be honest. I, I don't like the fuss of moving curtains around too much. So what I then did to get those perfect pleats inside there is I added a loo roll in between. So I got a loo roll, an old one that we'd finished with. I cut it in half and I inserted it in between. And as you can see, it's created like the perfect like pleat in between. Like that. So they look completely symmetrical either side, again with some lovely straight lines. So if we go underneath the window, if you are a Hatfield owner like me, or you're looking at buying a Hatfield, you will be aware that perhaps the window is slightly low. So your regular radiator cover will not fit. <laughs> I had to cut this myself. I measured the height and then I just sawed off the bottom of the radiator cover to make it so that it was the right height to fit under the window. And I'm really pleased I did it. It finished off the window beautifully and gave us more space to add little trinkets and stuff. And we also line up like all our birthday cards when it's our birthdays across the window there. So let's move around and go a little bit closer and have a look at the other things we've got on here. So my main piece that I have here is this beautiful vase with these faux flowers inside. Now, the display itself is from Berries in Grey and it is actually bespoke to me. So Berries in Grey created this beautiful bouquet for myself. I sort of let them know what I wanted and this is what they came up with. It's gorgeous and you, you can shop this as well. So I'll make sure I insert a link in case you would like to shop it. The vase underneath is from Peony Lane Interiors. You can buy these most places, they're just ginger jars and I've just put my flowers inside and I've actually used the top of the ginger jar over here on the coffee table to just add an extra element on there and I think it looks really good. So I'm making use of both pieces. Then across here, we've also got these little lantern, candle lanterns and they are from Dunelm. I really like them and we don't always have the candles burning, but the candles are a nice way to dress the room there. And then we've just got some lovely family photos of us either side. So you've got a nice little one of Olivia and then all of us at a wedding. And then Olivia when she was a little girl, very, very sweet. I think you'll agree that this does look lovely. It's framed the window and it's made use of the space and just sort of added an extra element of glamour to the room which is what I wanted to create. So moving around further we now have the other side of the room which is then another feature in here too. In fact I think all the walls in this room have features on them. I've kind of made them all have their own sense of style but tie in together and each part you look at you don't get bored. There's nothing in this room that you look at and you think oh well she missed something over there. I just think everything is covered. And that's my style. Some people might say it's got too much stuff in it, but for me and for us, this is how I like to have it. It looks like a show home, but most of the time it's just a family house that is well lived in. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you will know that I share the reality of my house all the time. I'm always sharing like the coffee table gets moved over and then there's toys all over the floor and we use this as like a workout space and just, all sorts of stuff. So if you follow me over there, you'll know that this is a very much loved and lived in house, okay? <laughs> I know some people will be like, oh gosh, like just enjoy your home. We do, we really, really do. So let's have a look at this wall here. So this wall has got this ginormous piece of art. This artwork is from TK Maxx. It's 
absolutely stunning. My family bought this for me for my birthday, for my 30th birthday, and I'm over the moon with it. I had looked at so many different pieces of art that I wanted to feature in this room. I had shopped everywhere and I just found that they were all so expensive. And I know art is really expensive because people put a lot of time into making it, but I don't have loads of money to spend on art like that. And also my taste changes so quickly. So my family didn't want to spend a lot. So I found this on TK Maxx and I think this was like 70 pounds. So it wasn't astronomically expensive. It's ginormous as well. It's one meter by one meter. And as you can see, it's all beautifully textured with this kind of really thick acrylic paint. And then it's got this silver leaf in it, which I love, it's so nice. And then with these lovely blue and green undertones, I just think it works so nicely with the decor in this room. It matches the sofas perfectly and all the cushions, and it just goes perf it just goes beautifully. This was the finishing touch in this room. It really did bring the room to life and I couldn't be happier with it. And it fills the wall perfectly as well on top. I keep saying perfectly because I just love it so much. The frame around it as well is silver, so it ties in really, really nicely with all the other bits and bobs in this room that are silver too. And then it's got that kind of dark black too, which like I said to you, I, I like having little touches of black. I think it adds a little elegant touch. So I, yeah, I'm in love with my artwork. So thank you family for my birthday present. I still love it. We're, we're going strong. <laughs> so. We then have our biggest sofa. So this is our um, Sophia sofa from DFS in the color Pearl. It is a three-seater this size. So if you live in a Hatfield, you can fit a three-seater and a two-seater in this room quite comfortably. We've had this sofa for a really long time. I think we've, not a really long time, but we've had it for about five or six years now. And the feeling when you've, like paid off your sofas is the best feeling ever. But yeah, we have we love this sofa, it's very, very comfortable. And we'll keep this sofa until we move house, I'd imagine, and then we'll probably change it for something else. But right now, it works really, really well for us. And if we get stains on it, or if we spill drinks or whatever, it's I clean it now, I put it in the washing machine, um, I take the covers off, whip them all off, and just put them in the washing machine, and that works for us, it keeps it nice and clean and fresh. The cushions on there, so I get asked about these quite a lot. The green cushions, they oh, they came with the sofa, these kind of circular ones, they came with the sofa, along with these ones here. And then I've just added a mi sort of mixture of cushions that I've found from places throughout my time living in the house. So the dark cushions at the back, the kind of like a greeny velvet color, they are from Sainsbury's. I do love Sainsbury's for little bits and bobs like that. And then the grey ones in front, they, I think were from like Next in the sale. I would love to change them. I'm not a big fan of them, but like I say, they kind of do the job. They look good. And if they get ruined for whatever reason with children, it doesn't matter. We can just wash them. So I like them for that reason. The blue cushion in the middle, that's from TK Maxx again. And I really like it because once again, it ties in all the lovely blue tones in this room. So yeah, that is that sofa. The little table here, I think I picked that up from Wayfair. It's handy. We use it a lot, especially if I'm kind of like playing on my laptop in the evening and stuff, doing bits and bobs. I can kind of pull that right in and tuck it underneath the sofa. The lamp in the corner, that is from b and Q. It's really old again. I've had it a while, but I love it. I love the shape of it. And it's just the right height for that corner over there. Next to the lamp in the corner from B&Q, we have two frames. Those frames are from Neptune and they've got this kind of spotty print on them and they've got some green undertones in them as well. I actually bought these prior to buying this and they were above there. I'll try and find a picture. I think I've probably got one. I'll insert a picture. And I love them, but they were just a little bit too small. They were missing something. I actually have four of them. I have another one hiding behind the door here. And I also had another one on the shelving you saw before. And I had them in a set of four, like one, two, three, four. I'll, sh I'll show you the picture. And I 
did really like them, but they just weren't my style. So now I have them around the room and I quite like the woody tones that they have in there that they add to the room. I, th I like it a lot. So they stay and also they were quite expensive. So I cannot part with them because I would never get that money back. And one day they will go beautifully in our future house. I'll make a room dedicated to them. So moving on, I've got this corner over here. So this corner is probably my favorite corner. It's so pretty. It's got lots of little bits and bobs on it. I have got, where should we start? Let's start with the flower arrangement. So the flower arrangement is a selection of flowers. I actually think I got these from a company called Brissy, which no longer exists. And the vase is definitely from Brissy. I really love them. I think they look beautiful and I love how tall they stand as well. They add the height. So as you know, I love symmetry. So the height of the lamp is mimicked by the height of the flowers on top of this unit over here in the corner. It's just my style. It's what I like. So that's how it stays. Um, next to it, I've then got a little artichoke from Neptune. Again, really like that. Nice little touch. I always have a candle on underneath and there's a lot of diffusers around this room. Some of them are just for display purposes, but I also like the way they look with the little touches of black. The unit that they're all standing on is from Ikea. I think it's a Billy bookcase, I think. I obviously will insert it below, but I just haven't put a cupboard door on it or anything like that. And we just use it for um, adding just little bits and bobs to it really. just little trinkets over there in the corner. Next to it, I've got a small side table and there's not too much going on on here. I've got this really tall lamp here from Laura Ashley. It's very classic and traditional with a beautiful shade on it. And yeah, it just kind of sits there with a diffuser underneath and I just really need to dress this up. The frame there my mum got me for my birthday and I still need to put a picture of me and my family all having a lovely day in there making memories because we went down to London and it was a really nice day, us all going together. So I need to take, I still need to add that picture. But that is kind of just that little bit there. We use it for just putting drinks and stuff on that table. So moving around the room again, you get to our smaller sofa. This sofa again is from DFS. It is the Sophia sofa in the color pearl. And yeah, it just fits there quite nicely actually. Um, next to it on the side, you have a bookcase. This is, this is the Billy bookcase from Ikea. And I've added some cupboard doors on the bottom of there because I will show you inside in a minute. It is full of toys. I always get asked, where do I keep all the toys? The toys are hidden behind doors. That's where they go. And then when the cameras are off, the doors open and the toys come out and the room gets covered in plastic. But I like it this way when I am at home during the day by myself, which isn't very often. So this is this wall and on the wall, we have a mirror, which is from House of Fraser. My sister got this for me as a housewarming present when we first moved in and absolutely love it. I wouldn't change it. It's the perfect size and it's just the sentiment that we've had it for so long and she gifted it to us. I just, it you know, means a lot. So that is that. There's not too much to talk about on this wall other than this bookcase. So let's go and have a closer look at the bookcase. I was telling you about the artwork from Neptune before. This is up here in the corner. There is another one. So now you've seen all four. They all go together. And this is the bookcase. It's a really, really good size. And at Christmas time, this gets moved. Last Christmas, this got moved out of here and into the kitchen. This Christmas, I'm going to have a rethink again. I, I might just take this out and put the Christmas tree here or I might have a complete reshuffle. I haven't decided yet. And Christmas is still a long way away. I know I shouldn't even be thinking about it, but I just like to have it in my head that I know where my Christmas tree is going to go. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. So this is the unit. On here, we've got a lamp. The lamp is extremely old. It's from Next. And I just love it because it fits so beautifully. You can adjust the heights on this bookshelf to match your style. So I lifted it up quite high so that I could then have the lamp in there. And it, I like to have like light in every corner because I think it makes the room look brighter. So we've got a light there, a light there, a light there, and then the lights on the TV unit behind me here. Next to it, we've got a lovely picture of me and Matt. Oh, look, this is when we, I was pregnant with Olivia. How sweet is that? 
he's pretending to be pregnant too. We were so much skinnier, so much less tired. I mean, I was still skinnier even when I had a baby bump, but hey, once again, I digress anyway. So then next to it, I have this dried floral arrangement. This is from Next, I believe. Again, it's quite old, so um, I'm not sure if you can still get it. I'll have a look for it. But yeah, this is the style. I absolutely love this again. It's got that kind of like shimmery look to it that matches the artwork and all the silvers, but it has that kind of earthy brown green tone to it too. Above, I've got a couple of bits and pieces. Um, I've got a picture of me and my mum and like an old bronze statue that she had. Like, it, that's my mum's, but she gave it to me, so it matches the pictures. And then just some pillar, candle pillars and just general, just bits and bobs, really little knickknacks and stuff. So yeah, that is that unit. Now, if we dare to open this cupboard, <laughs> I had an organiser of this the other day big organized actually and this is how this looks inside here this is where we hide all of the toys and it looks organized because i've tidied it for this purpose but you can see that it kind of just keeps all of that hidden away so that's all of olivia's bits and bobs and i'm so pleased that i did it this way because she can access this all really easily as well and also please be aware i don't like candles like normally in here especially during the day when she's around so that candle on top of there would not be on right now it would all be very very safe so she can just access all of her things and pull them all out and then we can shove them all back in and then we just close the door like this and no one would ever know it was there i absolutely love it just for that so yeah there we go okay the last thing to look at is kind of the center of the room the coffee table and the light fitting so let's have a look at those at the middle of the room i'm going to start with the light fitting at the top so the light fitting is from lightcraft lighting and i love this light i've um, got some images that i'll insert where it's lit up as well but this is it turned off so it has these beautiful metal rods in the middle and then this huge glass dome. I, You need two people to put this light fitting up. It is so heavy, but it really looks the part. So when it's on, it just glows. I get so many compliments on this from my friends and family. They all love it. And I just like how it looks in the room. It, it comes on some wires, so you can decide what height you want. I've gone for a kind of higher, higher up because I just think if you have lights lower, it makes the room look, looks the ceilings lower and this house is a new build, so the ceilings are already low. But yeah, I absolutely love that light. Now, the coffee table, again, is rather large. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh gosh, you're not making use of space. Now, I agree, it is probably too big for this room, but I love it. It's a metre by a metre and I like how it mirrors the artwork that's kind of my gist um it's solid marble in a light gray color it's from dwell and yeah i just absolutely love this coffee table i love the style of large square coffee tables i think they just look so extravagant <laughs> and um this will be with us forever definitely i can't ever see me changing this um I really like how I can style it by having like different corners as well and just add like little elements to it. So on here, we've got lots and lots of like little knickknacks. You can see we've got coffee table books, we've got candles, floral displays, just, you know, tissue box, all sorts of like little things. And I really think that they just make the coffee table look beautiful and they add something to the middle of the room. Now, like I said before, we push this coffee table to the side most of the time at the moment, just for the space, because with it being locked down, it's really difficult to enjoy a living room when there is a great big coffee table in the middle. But we do also love this coffee table for the purpose of having friends around and family around. We can play games on it. Olivia also loves it because we clear everything off and put it all underneath, which I quite like. And then we play board games and puzzles. And yeah, it's a well-loved table and it looks so nice in this room. I'm sure you'll agree. 
So that brings us to the end of the living room tour. I hope you enjoyed having a good look around and I also really hope that I did cover everything that you might have wanted to know. If, like I say, there was anything missing, just let me know and I will be sure to get back to you and give you an answer about where that's from. And also don't forget to head down to the description where you can shop my style. I'm hoping maybe some of it might have given you some inspiration for your own homes. You might think, oh, I really like how she's done that. I'm going to go for something similar. Um, that's kind of why I do these things, because I like to give you an idea of how you can style your house and, you know, just show you that you don't also need to have a huge budget to do these things. Like most of it, I do it quite like relatively cheap. And um, I like to try and find ways that I can do things myself as well, like, you know, making the radiator cover fit underneath there rather than getting a bespoke one, I just cut it down. That's kind of my style. I'm a sort of handy woman. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope you all stay safe and I will see you again very soon. Take care, bye-bye.